Good day, folks. Welcome to an ICC Daily Queensland weather app today, the 17th of the 2nd, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, Townsville Sheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe, accredited shed. Right across the Gulf of Carpentaria, we've had a, a tropical low that hit the coastline to the southwest of Mornington Island. It's currently in operation across mainland areas near the border. Uh, we've got a mid-level circulation that's split off from the low-level circulation, creating lots of rain across the southeast Gulf Country and through northwest Queensland. So there's two circulations. There's one here at the surface, your traditional low, and then there's a mid-level low in the middle troposphere uh, operating across southeastern parts of the Gulf of Carpentaria. End result eventually is that the mid-level circulation will die. The low-level circulation will basically push southwestwards and we're going to drive a lot of this rainfall down into this region here over the next 24 to 48 hours. Through the rest of Queensland, we can see there's a lot of light patchy rain extending into central inland Queensland. There's quite a few showers going on to the coast between Townsville and Cardwell. Uh, there's also a few showers further north on the north tropical coast, especially enhanced up around the Cooktown area. And we see the monsoon just a weakening a fair bit across Cape York Peninsula. So these showers and storms up here becoming very slow moving and their ability to dump more rainfall because they're slow moving increases. Talked about the heavy rain yesterday. Have a look at the heavy rain again today. Some big totals today, particularly up around the Daintree. We saw up to 300 millimetres falling on the Daintree Village, 304 millimetres there. We've had some very big falls out around Innisfail of 200 to 250 millimetres on that section of coastline. And on the west coast of Queensland, we've seen some good falls out towards Normanton, 105, 106 millimetres there at Normanton. And uh, Swears Island there, 153 millimetres. So that low creating lots of havoc in that region as well. So we're starting to see over the last couple of days accumulations of totals up in the two to four hundred millimetre range across northeast Queensland. Looking at the Bureau of Meteorology's Access G model, we can see where all the rainfall is this morning across the Gulf Country into northwest Queensland and across northeast tropical coastlines with a scattering of shower activity expected in those areas this morning. Through this afternoon, we can see continuation of widespread rainfall across northwest Queensland. A couple of isolated mid-level based storm and showers here across the southern inland parts. We've got to be mindful here that any convection that occurs over the next couple of days across the southern inland could spark up some fires. There's some hot temperatures, 35 to 40 degrees, and the potential for some gusty winds along with some of that lightning that's going to come through from some of those cells. So particularly tomorrow, I'd be interested in the potential fire starting capabilities of some of these uh, some of these convective cells down south. Across northeast Queensland, you can see continuation of shower activity in various parts of the coast. Shower activity means that there will be breaks in between. As we go into this evening and tonight, you can see most of our heavier rainfall over in northwest Queensland. Still a few showers though on the northeast coastline. Uh, so not not completely fining up uh, and that's uh, that's for sure. Uh, over the no Overnight early in the morning, we're going to start to see enhanced rainfall in the Herbert uh, to Cassery Coast here of uh, just north of Townsville as southeasterly winds try and muscle their way in and come up against some tropical winds further to the north. And so there's going to be an increase in rainfall overnight tonight into tomorrow in that area from Townsville northwards, particularly north of Townsville. And we see a continuation of moderate to heavy rainfall overnight tonight into early tomorrow across the northwestern parts of the state, pushing into northern parts of the central western parts of the state as well. By the time we talk tomorrow, we can see falls in the 30 to 50 millimetre range, quite widespread across northwest Queensland, with falls up to about 100 millimetres possible in parts of this northwestern region. You can also see some fairly significant rainfall in the Gulf Country and Gulf Coastline. Uh, notice here also northeast Queensland, while the really intense rainfall has eased off, we are still expecting to see some locally heavy falls across that northeast coast. And remember, that area from Townsville northwards, just increasing showers in the morning tomorrow. Uh, we're also seeing widespread showers and thunderstorms up in the Cape and not much rain from any of the convective stuff down south but just be aware it's fire starting capability particularly tomorrow as the lightning flash density from this stuff increases. We've got way more depth and detail available to your subscribers at join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au so check us out there if you're interested in a much deeper dive into where the rain is, why the rain is and how much rain there is 
And we also look at the next burst of the monsoon coming late next week or next weekend. From a wind perspective, South Easterlies will dominate central and northeast Queensland today. However, as we progress into the overnight early morning period, they will start to ease off through parts of the state. However, there is going to be this area, this little pocket we talked about just north of Townsville, where those winds are going to be slightly enhanced because of the weak trough system that develops in here tomorrow morning, increasing the shower activity. Northwest and northerly winds are expecting to are expected to gradually ease across the Gulf country uh, over the next 24 hours as well. But it's a little bit more of a gradual easing process here. So we're still expecting to see some solid 15 to 20 knot northerlies coming through the Gulf country. Or rather, Gulf of Carpentaria waters near the Gulf country. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. And I'll chat to you in the morning.